Hey everybody, Peach here and welcome to episode 10 of the Omega Arm series. Now today we're going to be making a DIY adjustable slant board. Now commercially available slant boards usually range from 12 to 16 inches wide, which is fine for many exercises. But if we make a slant board that's two feet wide, we have way more options. Now here's just a small sample of some of the exercises that you can do with a slant board. Now to make this slant board, we're going to be using the Omega Arms foot plate that we built back in episode three of the Omega Arms series. So if you haven't built yours yet, you'll want to watch episode three after watching this episode. Now the design of the Omega Arms foot plate is very versatile. In fact, we have demonstrated the following uses to date. In episode three, it was the leg press foot plate. In episode four, it was the pendulum slash leverage squat foot plate. In episode five, it was an inverted leg press foot plate. In episode six, it was a resistance band platform, AKA the band box. In episode eight, it was a utility seat to execute such exercises as a leg extension or a leg curl. And in episode nine, it was a preacher curl rack attachment. But here in episode 10, to turn it into an adjustable slant board, we're gonna be doing three things. All right, step number one, since we're gonna be using more foot placement positions than ever before, I'm going to be adding a little bit more anti-slip tape to the surface of the Omega Arms foot plate. So if you need some, be sure to check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the description below to buy your own. So to do this, all you do is you cut strips to length and peel and stick, just like so. All right, step number two. Now we're gonna add two more three quarter inch floor flanges to the bottom of the foot plate. And I'm gonna place them on the side closest to the existing floor flange as opposed to this side. So they're gonna go up here and I'm gonna make sure that when I run these screws through here that they're at least an inch away from any existing screws which might already be in here. So I'm gonna place mine right here and right here and I'm making sure that the edge of this floor flange isn't hanging over the edge of the foot plate. I want that to be flush. So once you pick your position, go ahead and pre-drill to prevent the wood from splitting. And then I'm gonna be running size 10, three inch construction screws through those floor flanges. Right, step number three, last step. Now we're gonna take three quarter inch plumbing nipple caps and put them on the ends of plumbing nipples. Then we're gonna attach these to the floor flanges we just installed. All right, that's it. Now, the longer the nipple, the greater the pitch. So here's a quick rundown of the different lengths of nipples and the pitches that they deliver. <laughs> Now, needless to say, I have a lot of nipples. All 
All right, now let's talk about safety. So the weight limit here is gonna depend upon the length of nipples that you're using. So the shorter the nipple, the higher the weight capacity. Now, I'm not a structural engineer, so I can't give you precise weight limits, but I will say this. Don't squat 500 pounds while using 10 inch long nipples. Bad idea. Now, uh, that being said, if you do plan on going a little heavier, I recommend that you take advantage of this pre-existing floor flange in the center of the foot plate right here. So here I have 10 inch long nipples and here I have a six inch long nipple with cap and I'm gonna add it right here to offer additional support. Now when I place this down, it's just shy of the ground. So to shim it up, I'm gonna take a tennis ball that I cut a hole in and I'm gonna put that over this cap. And now it is touching the ground, offering additional support. Now in the interest of time, I'm not gonna cover all of my favorite slant board exercises. However, what I will do is I'm gonna cover two of my favorite setups. Exercise number one, the landmine row. And to do the landmine row, we need a landmine. So if you're interested, Amazon affiliate link down in the description below to buy your own. So I'm gonna attach this to the feet of my power rack. And of course, attach the barbell. Now we're gonna put down a layer of grippy shelf liner and this will prevent the slant board from slipping on us when we're pulling really heavy weight and really digging our feet into that slant board. All right, next step. Now take your slant board and put it over that grippy shelf liner. Now, of course, we need a way to rack the barbell so it doesn't damage our slant board. So to solve this problem, do this. Via my Amazon affiliate link, you can buy a two pack of three ton jack stands for about 30 bucks. Great deal. So we're gonna set these down right in front of the slant board. And now I'm gonna take a two foot long nipple with floor flanges on both sides and just a scrap piece of PVC in the middle. And this PVC will protect the barbell from metal to metal contact. So we're just gonna lay this across those jack stands. Now load the barbell and exercise. All right, exercise number two, the Roman chair hyperextension. Now this is a great exercise for the lower back and this hack will replace the need for you to purchase a Roman chair. So to set this up, do the following. Take your slant board and put it at the rear of your power rack. Next, take your J hooks and put them at hip level on the interior of your front uprights. Next, put the barbell on your J hooks. And then last step, take a barbell pad. And if you need a barbell pad, I have an Amazon link down below for you to check out. Put this on the barbell with the seam facing outward. And exercise. All right, that was the DIY slant board, a great addition to any home gym. Now for more details on this project, please visit DIYfitnessclub.com. Also, to purchase some of the supplies needed to make today's project, or if you'd rather just buy a commercially sold slant board, please consider using my affiliate links down in the description below. Shopping via these links costs you nothing extra and it helps support the channel. All right, that does it for this project and I look forward to seeing you again in the next project. So, be sure to subscribe to the channel to be alerted the moment the next project drops.